Hi, again. So, this is poem number two. This is Aunt Julia by Norman McKeag, which we've also had a wee look at in class. And again, we're looking purely at reading it with the punctuation, going with the punctuation, and making sense of it in that way. That's how we make sense of prose. It's how we make sense of poetry as well. Poetry isn't some sort of magical thing that is different. So, Aunt Julia spoke Gaelic very loud and very fast. I could not answer her. I could not understand her. She wore men's boots when she wore any. I can see her strong foot stained with peat paddling the treadle of the spinning wheel while her right hand drew yarn marvellously out of the air. Hers was the only house where I've lain at night in the absolute darkness of a box bed, listening to crickets being friendly. She was buckets and water flouncing into them. She was winds pouting wetly round house ends. She was brown eggs, black skirts and a keeper of thrupney bits in a teapot. Aunt Julie Aunt Julia spoke Gaelic very loud and very fast. By the time I had learned a little, she lay silenced in the absolute black of a sandy grave at Luskintyre. But I hear her still welcoming me with a seagull's voice across a hundred yards of peat scrapes and lazy beds and getting angry, getting angry with so many questions unanswered. Now, I've given you notes on this one too, um, giving you some of the meaning uh, of of the, the poem. I'm, I'm sure that you will have, have got a straightforward meaning from it, but um, I've I've given some bits of background because some of it is 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 quite kind of old fashioned in in what it's saying. Um, and what I didn't explain was things like peat scrapes and lazy beds, which I have a feeling uh, those of us living in the West uh, always kind of know what that is. But peat scrapes, obviously, where you're you're cutting the peats for the fire, um, an essential part of of craft life. Um, and lazy beds, the raised beds where um, the, the planting was done in, um, you know, for, for vegetables, for kale and, and cabbage and whatever uh, at, in the croft. Uh, lazy beds got nothing to do with us going lazy beds. It's lazy beds was the, the way that those beds were, were raised and uh, arranged in the, uh, 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 in the croft. Um, I think I've explained the rest of it uh, and, and in the notes that I'm sending to you. But uh, I hope that just looking at that and thinking about um, the, the way that the punctuation helps rather than hinders. So if you start to say there is enjambment or there is a, a caesura or whatever, you explain it by saying that helps us to do whatever it is it helps us to do. So I hope that's um, a little bit helpful. That's one of the Norman McCaig poems. You've had one of the um, Caroline Duffy ones. Whatever the six are that you have chosen, whichever poet and whichever six poems, please read them out loud, make sense of them that way.